In my interview last night with Susan Sarandon, prominent supporter of Bernie Sanders, a fixture on the campaign trail, the actor refused to say definitively whether she'd eventually vote for Hillary Clinton if, in fact, Hillary Clinton wins the Democratic nomination. Even said there are some Sanders supporters who think Donald Trump might be a better pick to hasten the revolution. Isn't the question always in an election about choices, right? I mean, I think a lot of people think to themselves, well, if it's Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, um, and I think Bernie Sanders probably would think I this. think Bernie <laughs> would probably encourage people because he doesn't have any ego in this thing. But I think a lot of people are sorry. I just can't bring myself to, to do that. How about you, personally? I don't know. I'm going to see what happens. Really? Really. I, I cannot believe that as you're watching the rock, well, you know, Donald some Trump people feels Donald entity. Trump will bring the revolution immediately. If he gets in, then things will really, you know. Oh, you're explode. saying the, the, the Leninist model of yeah, heighten the contradictions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people <laughs> feel that. That response caused the Internet's collective jaw to hit the floor, prompting some thoughtful analysis on what's behind Sarandon's stance and drawing comparisons to the iconic finale for 1991 film Thelma and Louise. A left wing progressive openly saying that electing Donald Trump to the White House might be better in some convoluted way for the country than electing Hillary Clinton, that was a pretty big story. Now today, responding to an article that quoted her as saying she'd rather vote for Trump than Clinton, Sarandon tweeted, lol, that I would ever vote Trump, which I have to say was pretty clear in the interview itself, I thought. In an interview with MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell earlier today, Clinton campaign spokesman Brian Fallon responded to Sarandon's remarks last night. Look, I thought that those comments were peculiar. I give the Sanders campaign the benefit of the doubt. Um, not every surrogate that goes out and speaks on behalf of a campaign actually reflects the views of the candidate. So I think uh, I'll give Senator Sanders the opportunity to address those comments that uh, Susan Sarandon made last night. It did somewhat remind me of some of the comments that we've seen over the years from Senator Sanders when he suggested, for instance, that perhaps uh, Barack Obama has been a disappointment or that he should be primary in 2012. I'll speak with Bernie Sanders' campaign manager shortly to get you his response. You don't want to miss that. First, I'm going to talk to another eminent progressive in the arts, someone with a very different read on the 2016 election. Joining me now, Oscar-nominated screenwriter, Pulitzer Prize-winning playwright, one of the greatest writers of our time, if I can editorialize, and a Hillary Clinton supporter, Tony Kushner. Great to have you here, Tony. Great to be back. Um, I think of you as, a, as having pretty radical politics. I think you've described yourself as a socialist. Um, yeah. uh, your, your work uh, often contains pretty um, intense critiques of the American power structure. Um, where are you on this camp, this election? I support Hillary Clinton. Um, I think she would make an extraordinary president, uh, and uh, I think she's going to be nominated and elected. So. And this is not, uh, um, you know, that you've you've you you're no you've left behind your lefty past or something. You've you 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 are no longer the uh, the radical idealist you once were. No, I mean, like uh, Secretary Clinton, I think that you, uh, as you move through time, you consider views that you've had in the past and, and perhaps uh, uh, reconsider them and, and amend them. Uh, but I feel that I'm still a person of the left. Um, I believe in electoral democracy as a way of uh, effecting uh, progress and even radical change. And there's a lot of evidence in American history that that's the case. And, uh, and it starts with uh, action in the communities and on the streets, but it has to, uh, that kind of action has to find some kind of um, uh, responsory uh, group in the halls of power. And I think that when uh, there are people that are elected and people on the streets uh, working for change, uh, enormous changes can happen. Do you, are you supporting Hillary Clinton because um there's two ways I hear people talk about this. Uh, I think she's the best shot to win, uh, or I think she would make the best president. Which of those two? I, I think she's absolutely uh, the best shot to win, and I think she would make a wonderful president. I'm excited about the idea of a Hillary Clinton presidency, and I don't quite understand why more people aren't, or I think a lot of people are, but I don't understand why people who with uh, political views that I share aren't more excited about her. The, the sort of um, I couldn't possibly vote for Hillary Clinton thing from someone like um, Susan Sarandon, who I respect enormously, uh, baffles me, as I think it baffled you last night. It's, uh, she, uh, there are things that one may or may not like about her. She's been in public uh, office 
and in the public eye for a really long time. So she's left a very long record of accomplishments and also at times failures. But uh, uh, she's been a champion of everything that I care about for uh, a very long time. And I, uh, even on even things like foreign policy and like I, you're someone who I know who I think of as, as being quite outspoken on Palestinian self determination, yeah. particularly, um, and and uh, the sort of immorality of the occupation in Israel. And she gave that speech to APAC, which. Um, was was quite a hawkish. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty much the speech that I would expect a Democratic, a serious nominee for the presidency to give to AIPAC. Um, I suppose she might have not shown up um, as uh, Sanders did, but I think that uh, it's it's enormously important, I believe, uh, for the Jewish American vote to stay 75 percent Democrat, as it has for many, many, many decades. And uh, and I think that this is an enormously fraught issue, and she's avoiding getting caught up in uh, a debate that might do damage to her candidacy. I think that she believes in diplomacy, yeah. and I think that she'll pursue a, a diplomatic solution to the crisis in the Middle East. Let me ask you the same question. If Sanders were to be the nominee, uh, would, you, would you vote for Bernie Sanders? Of course. I mean, I don't know what's going to be nominated or who's going to be nominated on the other side of things, but it's terrifying. I mean, I don't think there's been uh, anything this frightening coming from the Republicans in ever, and, and that's saying a lot. So uh, I don't see that anyone uh, who cares uh, not only about this country but about the world at this point, about climate change, about immigration reform, uh, about any issue that's of any significance, women's uh, health care, um, uh, LGBT rights. Uh, how could you not vote for whoever the Democratic nominee is going to be? And, and I, there's a lot that I admire about Sanders. I just think that uh, Hillary Clinton has a, a more impressive uh, record and is uh, a more skillful politician, which I think is more important ultimately huh. than uh, fantasies about how moral or immoral a person might be. That, that, that people on the internet are going to have things to say about that. Tony Kushner, uh, thank you so much for joining us. I Great really appreciate it. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.